Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video we're going to be doing another wheelie build on Forza Horizon 4. In today's video we're going to be doing a Ford Escort Mark II RS. This wasn't the intention for today's video, I was meant to do the Dodge Dart, I made it wheelie. I uploaded the tune, I had to remove the tune off of it, because, well I had to rework the tune. Because it wouldn't wheelie whatsoever, I got it to wheelie at first, come back a day later when I want to record and it just didn't work. In future, I will try and make a video on that because it was a really good wheelie build. But in the meantime, I guess we're going to have to do this one because, well, the video got 12 likes, I think, the previous video. So, yeah, let's just jump straight into it. So, the engines, what, what you want to do to this is the Turbo Rally engine, the 1.6 litre. As for the tyres, you're going to want to put drag compound on them, as well as make them as thick as they possibly can in the rear, which is 235s, which isn't too bad. And then for the rims, you just want to put something lighter on. I've gone with a new set of rims in the game, which is the Speedline Course F1s. I personally think they suit the car quite well, especially with the colour it's in. And they're a lot lighter than the standard rims, so if you want a nice selection of rims, there you go. So when it comes to the drivetrain, you want to upgrade the clutch, transmission, driveline and differential, all to race spec. As well as the brakes, you're going to want to put them in race spec. And then for the springs and dampers, you're going to want to put the rally ones on just to give you that bit more lift so you have more space to wheelie. Upgrade both the roll bars and put all the weight reduction in you possibly can. And as for the engine upgrade, you want to upgrade the camshafts, displacement and put a big single turbo on it and remove the restrictors. That will bring it to 668 horsepower, 682 foot pounds of torque and 1632 pounds. Which, I'm not sure what that is in kilos, it's probably around like 700, 600, 700, something around there. So guys, as for the tune, you're going to want to put 15 PSI on the rear. You're going to want to pause the video here and just get the gear ratios. As for the alignment, put a negative 0.5 toe on the rear, just so you get that bit more of a straight wheelie. It does make a bit of a difference, but not a lot, so if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. As for the anti-roll bars, soft on the front and stiff on the rear. The springs are the exact same soft on the front, stiff on the rear. Keep the ride height as high as it'll go as well. And for the dampening, you want to put 1.2 on the front, 10 at the rear, and then the bump stiffness, 10 at the front, and 1.2 on the rear. As for the diff, you're going to want to lock it, trying it at 80-90%. It kind of works, but at the same time, it works better when it's locked, and you get that more streamlined wheeling. As always guys, the tune is up on the tuning place if you want to download it, and if you can't see my gamer tag, I'll put it on screen now just in case you're on mobile. So guys, for this build, it is a bit more difficult than some of the others to wheelie. I'm not going to lie, this is one of the more difficult ones. But as you can see, it does wheelie very well. It wheelies up to about 100, so pretty close to the others. And... As much as this is a difficult car to wheelie, it's also quite easy at the same time. When you've got used to how it wheelies, it, it goes quite well. Going into reverse, is, I'm going very much to the side there. Going into reverse before you do the wheelie somehow helps. I'm not sure if it's just because it makes the tyre go backwards and then spins the diff, I don't know. There we go, we've got a nice launch wheelie. Up to 110 miles an hour, I think that was. That was probably one of the best wheelies I've got out of this thing today. There we go, a nice another, nice another. That was a, another good launch wheelie. I'm just trying to get a few clips in so you guys know what you're actually getting when you buy the tune, if or if you build the car. I've got a slight problem, and I'm pretty sure it happens with the other Escort as well, where the back end comes up that, uh, the front end comes up that much that it pushes the rear wheels off the floor. I've not really noticed it in any other cars. I think the Datsun 510 did it when I first built that, but other than that, I don't think any have actually scraped the rear that much that they flip. Yeah, it happened there. When I was coming up, you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, I can because I'm using a pretty big TV, but the rear wheels kind of like popped up for a second and it kind of cut out the wheelie, which is a shame because it means that sometimes if you're getting stupid wheelies that you can't carry it on for ages. I would use the launch control to get the wheelies, but it's a lot more difficult. Like, if you get if you get it right, like, I'll try it now. You need it at about 3,500. I'll try and see if I can balance the revs normally. No, I've got no chance with that. 
That's why I do it in reverse, so if you guys are a little bit, like, disheartened, like, oh yeah, it's not an actual wheelie because he's going into reverse than into first, you can wheelie it normally, uh, it's just a lot more difficult to do. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe down below, as you always do, and I'll see you guys in the next bloody video.